Hey, welcome back. Um, this is kind of a continuation from my last Amazon Japan haul. I uh, got some items from Niigata Seiki and uh, Tone and uh, just uh, something from Straight Tool Company, which um, I've never even seen before, but they're uh, just a Japanese brand, not nothing premium or anything. Um, so the Niigata Seiki or SK, um, starting off, there's a nail punch. Nothing uh, too crazy here. Seems to be decent quality. Um, I just kind of like the hexagonal design and thought I'd give it a shot. If you need to seat some nails, there's a punch for that. Um, also from from SK or Niigata Seiki, I've uh, got a feeler gauge here, metric. I've been using this one, uh, as you can see. But uh, Simple, classic feeler gauge. You've all seen it. Uh, this is uh, this one's made in Japan, so kind of neat. Had no problems with it so far. You can see the packaging from them. Feeler gauge, Niigata Seiki. Um, this one is made in Japan. Not all of their stuff is made in Japan, so you have to just kind of watch out for the country of origin. Um, these are not actually my first um, Niigata Seiki items. I actually have some uh, some rulers from them. They make very nice rulers and squares and things like that. Um, really cool designs. But uh, check them out, definitely. Uh, this one here is a thread pitch gauge for inch threads. So you can kind of find out uh, how many threads per inch you got on a uh, on a standard or traditional fastener so definitely will come in handy um, also we got from them the metric version which is uh, I mean quite a few um, quite a few gauges going very coarse as you can see here to very very fine so that's a quarter of a millimeter between each I think it's between each crest is how it's measured but you can find out the exact thread pitch of your fastener if you need to buy some more or find a replacement something like that so thread gauges that's what we got from Niigata Seiki nothing crazy pretty basic stuff uh, from Tone got a few items here um, I got their uh, nine and a half millimeter and 6.35 millimeter drive uh, bit drivers so these are um, 3 eighths and quarter inch drive take a look at the 3 8 finishing is is quite nice uh, with Tone um, you can't really tell it says Japan here you can't really tell if it's actually from Japan or not um, kind of you know if you've looked around online there's a lot of confusion not confusion but the ambiguity ambiguity about where they actually make their stuff um, they're not really forthcoming with it and they might be slightly deceptive but anyway they make a decent product so here's Tone bit driver for 3 8 drive let's see how it uh, wow so there's the bit in there holds it very tightly man So that holds it extremely tightly. Maybe that'll loosen up with time. Um, I guess that could be a good thing, but that's pretty tight. So that's their 3 8 version. The finishing is very nice. The manufacturing looks very clean. And then here is their quarter inch drive. Tone. And uh, says Japan, but is it made in Japan? 
I don't know. So it's using like a uh, hexagonal spring or a spring that's been bent into a hexagon in there. So let's see how that feels nice. Again, very tight. Retains it very tightly. That'll probably loosen up a little bit with use. You can kind of see the difference between that and the Koken. Almost exactly the same height. But uh, the retention system is different. This Koken has a ball detent in one corner held on, held uh, in place or with a spring. So it's much less uh, resistance. I mean, it's not going to fall out or anything, but you can easily remove it. This tone, I mean, it takes a lot of force to, to get that, that bit out. Also, I got from tone uh, one of these little um, socket adapters for a ratcheting wrench. This one goes into a 10 millimeter wrench and uh, quarter inch drive. So it's a little locking anvil on there. I also have uh, a version from uh, KTC that's a larger one. Same kind of design, although with the KTC it has a, uh, a spring around the base. This one has a ball detent spring loaded. This one goes in a 14 millimeter. So let's check it out into the 10. Ratcheting wrench, pop it in. So now you can put our new bit socket on there. So it's retained on a ratcheting wrench, which is kind of neat. You know, that's probably not going to be that useful. But uh, if I ever need some super low clearance, like here's a 10 millimeter. Um, Coke and Zeal, quarter inch, you know, that's going to be a lot thinner than, uh, than a standard uh, ratchet. So that might save the day one time, and that'll be enough for me. Uh, what else we got? So uh, also, I don't have a spinner for a half inch drive, so I picked up one from Tone, 12.7 millimeter half inch drive spinner. Um, quality on this fit and finish wise looks very nice. Very good finishing. Aggressive knurling. So the manufacturing on all these Tone items is uh, is quite high. Let's see how it fits on the, the giant Nepros here. So that feels nice. A lot of grip on there with the, uh, the aggressive knurling. So, spinner for half inch drive. Um, the half inch drives for uh, spinners that Nepros has, um, they're pretty expensive for what they are. Um, and I think they're well worth it for the smaller sizes, but I wanted to try a Nepros one for the bigger size here. And it feels feels very nice. Good quality manufacturing, definitely. And then uh, the last thing I picked up, I've been using it actually, uh, just a simple um, locking extension. This is uh, just kind of a lower lower tier manufacturer, straight tool company. Their stuff's not anything crazy. Um, I'm sure it's Taiwanese made even though it does not say it has that Taiwanese look to it I think <clears throat> but just a locking extension so it holds on to the zeal socket pretty good Nepros pretty good as well um, sometimes you just need a locking one um, I don't need them. I don't need it very much, so I'm not going to really buy a, 
a set of the snap-on ones or anything like that. Um, so uh, there's a locking extension bar. And uh, that's kind of been the, uh, the, the latest Japanese uh, Amazon um, haul. And uh, we'll see you next time with some more stuff. This is kind of just a mixed bag, but uh, interesting stuff. Um, I've been pleased with it. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.